What's going on Daily Dosers? Austin here and I'm bringing you today's Daily Dose and I just wanna take a second to congratulate you on making it to the end of just a completely bonkers year. And I love what we're doing with the Daily Dose right now where we're just spending some time reflecting on this year and trying to articulate what we've learned and what God's been teaching us. And for me personally, this has just been a wild year because I've had some amazing highs. Um, we actually uh, had our daughter a couple weeks ago. So my wife and I had our third kid, our daughter. So we, now we have two boys and a girl. And it's just been this amazing mix of emotions where we're celebrating in a time where there's so much going on in the world. Um, but man, what a special moment for us to just have this kid and to just sit there and love on her. Uh, if you notice the bags under my eyes, it's because I'm exhausted and please stop waking up in the middle of the night, but we love her. Um, but then on the flip side is in the middle of March, we pivoted and, and our whole culture uh, had to be flexible. And all of a sudden this church that we're at uh, no longer has a church building on the weekends. In my role as a pastor, I'm not interacting with people at, at church on Sundays. And life groups aren't meeting. And all these things that we held on to as important for us were kind of taken away. And so for me, I was given this amazing dose of humility from our God. Um, and I had to learn that he doesn't necessarily need me. And what I mean by that is... You know, my role was so fixated on what I brought to the church and on the weekend, I interacted with people and made them feel warm and, and, and felt uh, this invitation that this is a place that they're supposed to be. And we've created this environment uh, for people to experience uh, worship and God and, and be able to just spend some time at church. And you just start to realize that so much of it in my brain is built up to be me, me, me. It's all because of me, me. I'm good at what I do. And God then quickly says, no, dude, it's not you. It's actually me in this situation that God's saying, I'm, I've given you these gifts. I've given you these things so that you can further my kingdom. And it's just hard for me to understand that God is so much bigger than me in my brain. I can't comprehend how magnificent and glorious God is. And so it took a little bit for me to understand that God doesn't need me, but he's always going to use me. And that's what I want to focus on here as we take something away in this daily dose that no matter where you're at, no matter where you are in this year, God will always use you because he loves you. He desires a relationship with you and he's going to take what you get, what you give him. And I love that idea that no matter how tired, no matter how weary you are, wherever you're at, whatever you have to offer, God is going to use that to advance his kingdom. And there's something very profound and very powerful in that because at the end of a year where maybe you're tired and uh, just things maybe haven't gone right, maybe this has been a great year for you, where regardless of where you're at, God's going to use you when you give him the opportunity to. And I think that that's something that I learned as soon as I realized like, okay, this is a part of me that's been kind of taken away that God doesn't need these skills, doesn't need these specific things. But when I focused on what I could do, uh, God just continued to use us at North Coast Church uh, to do some amazing things in the community uh, through life groups, continuing to meet and and connect people through drives and different things that we are able to do to impact the community. Just God did some amazing things this year, and it's really cool to reflect on now. And so as we wrap up, I wanted to jump into James 4, uh, 7 through 10, where it says, Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinner, and purify your hearts. You double-minded, grieve, mourn, and wail. Change your laughter to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up. And that's where I want to end on today is in a moment like this, I had to learn to humble myself. And God used that to do some amazing things and lifted me up in, in different ways that I didn't expect uh, and as you go out this week, I hope that you can have an amazing holiday season. And if you're tired, rest so that you can get up again and God can use you in amazing ways. Thank you.